I started doing some Olympic weightlifting uh, in the like around January 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've been competing a little bit in uh, Olympic weightlifting too. I have uh, I have two bronze medals from like Nordic Junior Championships. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you go to the Europeans that same year as well? What? Didn't you go to the European Juniors that same year? Yeah, in the 200. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how did you balance both things together? Well, usually uh, the like the weightlifting season is pretty much spread out like through all the year. I don't quite understand it, <laughs> but uh, like the competitions I've been doing have been in October, November. Uh, and so really I've just been like in the 2017, 2018 and 2019 season uh, or mostly 2017 and 18, uh, I did like when everyone else went off season, I went weightlifting season. <laughs> So like straight after the national championships in the end of August, I just started like getting used to the weightlifting in September, uh, just doing technique and stuff. And I found out that uh, I really maintain my max strength really easily. So I don't have to do a lot to get back to my max. max uh, like this year, I only had one competition in the 29th of September. So I started in the... I, th I believe like at the very end of August, start of September, I started doing a little bit of weightlifting. Uh, and then 29th of September, when I had my competition, I did a PB in my in both snatch and clean and jerk. <laughs> so it was, no. like, it was really like, uh, I didn't expect it because in training I had, I had done like 103 and 120. And then in the competition I did 114 and 144. So, <laughs> so have you adapted both things into your program for the winter to go into like a indoor season? Do you do any indoors? I think you you do a sixty, don't you? you? You do sixty meters. Yeah, sixty and two hundred. Yeah. So in the indoor season, how do you adjust your gym stuff? He also does long jump as well. Don't I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how do you adjust your program from? the weightlifting or do you just sort of had it like into your plan? Yeah. So usually when we go into the indoor season, uh, we don't differ our training that much. So we don't build up to the indoor season, the same as the outdoor season. Uh, we pretty much just lower the volume and train pretty much the same, uh, before the competitions. So, um, we do, like in November, December, we do a lot of volume, both in short sprints and uh, endurance runs and strength wise. And then when we get to January, February, I might do like two long sprint sessions just to get ready for uh, the 200. And, uh, and we just start uh, lowering the volume a lot so we can get a little bit higher intensity before the competitions. And then we use the competitions as speed training. So um after the indoor season we just get right back into uh, the training towards the outdoor season so but this year uh, i've done a lot less like maximal lifting so after the 29th of september when i did my competition i've just been maintaining the strength uh, i've not been trying to Sorry. increase my lifts but i did i did anyways <laughs> uh, it, it i've like um in the in the power clean uh, mostly in training, I didn't go above 110. Uh, and we did a test in December, like a maximal test. And I, I PB in the hand, hand clean by 10 kilos uh, or nine kilos. Uh, so, <laughs> so I found out that mostly by doing a lot of explosive work, I, I maintain my maximum. You strength. maintain. Yeah. All right. So how have you, how have you then um, mixed both? size like so what do your coaches say for instance do your co are your coaches a bit worried about your olympic weightlifting or because obviously for some athletes coaches is a bit of a weird thing for someone to be lifting and competing at the same period or without any rest because you pretty much would have no rest so how have they you know coped that with you and agreed you know all this with you well my coach uh we did we i started doing like Olympic lifts, 
uh, when when I was 15, I believe, uh, doing athlete when in the sprint training. Uh, so I started learning um, cleans and uh, and um, snatch uh, while doing sprinting. Uh, but then in it was in 20 in the start of 2017. At like uh, we have every year and at the first of January, um, the town has like uh, honoring for Norwegian championship uh, Norwegian champions, uh, right. and then I met the weightlifters there, and they had seen my lifts on Instagram, so we started talking, uh, and we just uh, agreed that I would start training like once a week with them just to get better technique. Uh, so mostly the Olympic weightlifting training I've been doing, uh, I haven't been doing any more than, or I'll, maybe a little bit more than the other guys in my group, but I've, I've not been doing a lot more uh, Olympic weightlifting than I would otherwise. I've just been having a, lit, a little bit more focus on technique. And my coach is very positive about that because it's like when I get better technique, or if I was supposed to do cleans anyways, if I just focus more on technique, I'll probably get a little bit more back from it and uh, also less injury um, yeah like a positive yeah. transfer yeah because it yeah maybe more positive transfer because it's like better technical for my body and and um, uh, yeah less chance of injury because if you're lifting wrong that's usually when you get injured uh, but so so my coach has been yeah he's he thinks it's not it's uh, good and uh, yeah but I, I've been I've been starting to competing to compete less uh the last year uh and uh yeah and is that because you're getting better at the sprints because every year your pb seems to have come down and down every single year so is that because you're getting better at the sprints and you're thinking maybe i should put slightly more focus on this side of athletics or is that just naturally happening and you're just going with the groove um uh, i think well i think that i've I felt like for the last year uh when i've been doing less maximal strength i've had more energy for the for the other parts of training so yeah, i think okay. it's been positive but because i believe i've uh, through the last years i've gotten up to like a point of uh, maximal strength and power that at least vertical power like in the cleans and and the snatches i've come up to a point where uh, like a point of diminishing return so if i work a lot more on it uh, I'll, I'll use a lot of energy to do it, but maybe I won't get as much back. So I feel like uh, by just maintaining, I've, I've, got, I've gotten more energy for the other parts of training. Oh, good. So what do you prefer? <laughs> but uh, In sprinting and uh, lifting? Yeah. Well, I love to like max out some lifts uh, <laughs> a couple of times, but, <laughs> but uh, I'd, I'd rather do a PB in the running. Yeah, but what, what is the better feeling? Because obviously, doing a max lift, you get a sort of adrenaline pump, but also winning a championship, for instance, there's yeah. also a similar feeling, but which one gives you more, um, which one would you say, like, you know, you're more, you get more excited about? Yeah, I get, I get more excited about a race, I do. But To be other people, because we seven other people. <laughs> yeah, but, but also, like, I think... Uh, the comp competitions in weightlifting, uh, I think um, I've gotten like a good experience from the competitions in weightlifting, like handling nervousness and stuff. Uh, I, I le I've learned from the weightlifting competitions as well, because it's pretty like at least when I've, I've come from sprinting and I'm doing like, I think like my third weightlifting competition was the Nordic Junior Championships. Uh, and I was like super nervous, uh, and I was missing my warm up lifts <laughs> up towards the the competition because you only have three tries. Uh, like you start with a snatch, and you only had three lifts total. So, okay. uh, in the warm up, I was like totally missing out my lifts because I was so nervous. But when I got up on the stage, I I gathered my thoughts and I I, I hit every lift. So, I think like. The mental part uh, I've learned uh, also from the weightlifting competitions. So uh, I think it's been fun to do some competitions in the off season in the weightlifting. Mm -hmm.